iYouTube. In this video, I want to talk about this Westcott iPoint Halo colored pencil, electric pencil sharpener. There's a little story behind my getting this, and I want to share that with all you. So we'll get right to it after this short intro. All right. Well, hey, let, let me kind of just bring you up to date with what's going on here. Um, how I ended up with this halo, the, kind of a strange thing. You see, I had a different eye point sharpener. It was like an eye point sharpener for schools. It was a little plastic thing. And I only used it one time. And then I put it on the shelf with all my other sharpeners. I got quite a collection growing here. And... Uh, I came back to it later because I wanted to do another video where I was going to kind of compare all these different sharpener, you know, pencil sharpeners to do a specific job that, that, um, anyway. So what happened is it wouldn't work. And I was like, what? I've only used this one day and the thing wouldn't work. Now, I know that the company puts out high quality stuff. And how do I know it is because... My one of my one of my favorite sharpeners comes from the folks at Westcott. Matter of fact, I'm gonna unplug the camera from this mount up here, and I'm going to move you over here to my drawing table. And if you'll see prominently displayed right there is my Westcott I Point Heavy Duty pencil sharpener with all these different diameter holes. This thing here is heavy, and it's heavy duty, and I love it. As a matter of fact, I love it so much, I had it on my desk for months after I had done the video on it. But because it does these big diameter pencils too, and you can see I currently have it set on the big diameter, because I have these pencils over here, and some of them are these really wide pencils that you can't put in regular pencil sharpeners. I wanted to see how well it would handle that, because of the soft charcoal and, and the carbon and all that is they easily break in a lot of sharpeners and it just cleanly sharpens all sizes and I said oh this has got to go next to my drawing uh, station here and that's where it is now so I just wanted to give a, a shout out again to the folks over there because that I recommend that sharpener I love that sharpener now with all that said yada 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 let me get you back over here instead of getting you all dizzy moving my camera around put the power back on here just so we don't run out of battery juice there we go all right so back under the lighting so here's the thing i contacted the folks out there in westcott and i just i wasn't asking for anything i just said hey you know what i have this I wish I still had it. Uh, you know what? I'll I'll just put it right there. There we go. See that? Okay. I had used it one time, one day, and for I don't know what happened to it, but you know, I put it all on a shelf with all the other sharpeners and I guess one of the times I wasn't around, the sharpeners must have all got around it and got jealous of its color or something and they might have attacked it. You know, sharpeners do weird things when you're not looking, right? So anyway, I come back and I try to use it and it's dead. It's dead as a doorknob. A dead doorknob. So anyway, um, I just emailed them and I said, you know, hey guys, I'm just, this is FYI, I'm not asking for anything. I'm just saying, I used this one day, I put it on the shelf. I've had this thing for months, just used it one time though, right? Well, they, you know what, they, all they said when they came back says, no problem, just, you know, give us a picture of what it looks like or model number or whatever and we'll replace it. And I'm just like, really? Cool. I mean, I wasn't asking for that, but that, that's, that's really nice. Yeah, I said, I says, okay, great, you know, and, and then they, they came back and says, you know what, we'll, we'll, we'll send you, we'll send you an upgraded model pencil sharpener you know one that's a uh, uh, um, higher up I guess on the cost scale or whatever and I said wow okay thanks so here's the deal this just came in this morning as I'm making my coffee 
or it may have came in last night and spent the night out in the cold porch I don't know but anyway it was there when I had to go out to the mailbox and I said oh cool and I opened it up and I found this sharpener in there and I said oh these guys can read minds too now let me tell you what I mean here and I know I'm just doing a lot of yada 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 when I haven't even cut this thing open yet but I gotta I gotta give you the front story on this okay it's a colored pencil sharpener. I didn't, you know, I didn't say, okay, you know, give me a colored pencil sharpener. No, I didn't know what they were going to send me. You know, they emailed me and says, yeah, we sent you a sharpener, you know, to replace the one you had. And it's a better one than the one you, the better model. And uh, I got this one and I'm like, this is cool. Now, here's, here's what's cool about it. I'm currently working on a video on guess what? Yeah. Colored pencils, peeps. Colored pencils. Lots of colored pencils. Okay. Just look at this. And, and, and these are not the ones that I'm even going to do the video on. These are ones that I bought to do testing on because I want to be able to compare these colored pencils with the colored pencils that I got from Arteza. And, and I want to get that review video out there pretty soon, but I want to at least have some idea of what I'm talking about because I don't normally use color pencils, right? So I'm going to have to sharpen these little puppies, and, and I hear all the stories about sharpening color pencils. Will it sharpen color pencils? Will it sharpen color pencils? I don't know. I don't have any. Well, I have lots of them now, and I get a sharpener for color pencils. That's spooky. So anyway, let's get right into this. So just to let you know, the folks at Westcott, excellent customer service, and I love that iPoint heavy duty sharpener. I highly recommend it, okay? And because I had one sharpener that went dead on me, uh, I'm not gonna hold that against them. I probably personally don't want that particular sharpener again, um, and I'm glad they didn't send me that particular one but it was really nice of them to send this and as a disclaimer they sent this i didn't buy this okay uh, they replacing a defective sharpener that i had and they didn't ask me to review this so i'm, I'm sure they're going to be okay with it well it doesn't matter because it's mine now i can do what i want with it and so i'm going to review this as i open it and try it out on these colored pencil sharpeners so i'm pretty excited about this so let's take a look at the package real quick i point halo colored pencil electric pencil sharpener it's a non-stick titanium bonded blade stay sharper five times longer blades resist buildup of colored pencils i guess that's important because what you get the oil base and the the wax base and I guess you get some nice little waxy blooms and all that other stuff going on. And it has an auto sensor shut off, so it turns the power off when the pencil reaches a perfect point. You can't ask for more than that, can you? And there's not a whole lot in the back there. You can see it comes with the power thing, which is cool. A lot of sharpeners nowadays come with the USB cable thing, but they don't come with the actual actual plug-in for the outlet. You have to provide that yourself. So I'm glad that this one here is fully fully contained. So anyway, I'm going to bring out, of course, my trusty Exacto knife. Here we go. I'm going to surgically remove this thing from this plastic package thing here. And Everybody's always saying, don't move don't move that exacto knife towards your finger, Rick. It's you're going to kill yourself. No, I'm not going to kill myself. I'm just going to lose a finger. There's big difference. Big difference. All right. So let's pull this puppy out and uh, let's just get rid of this trash. Whoa! Ouch! Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I do that. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and unravel this little puppy here. I just, just want to get this juice thing ready ready to go. I'm really excited about this. Can you tell? <laughs> and no, I, I've only had three sips of my coffee. Where is my coffee? There it is. Gotta have my coffee. Mmm. Java. Java in the morning. All right. So you get to hear all kinds of ramblings of a guy who just basically woke up and uh, 
all you can see is his fingers doing all kinds of crazy stuff. All right, so I'm going to plug this in. All right. And here is a close-up of the Sharmer. Good-looking Sharmer with, of course, let's give them their branding name. All right, Westcott, Halo, Eye Point. So a lot of their stuff's called Eye Point. So you got to kind of differentiate. Eye Point School, Eye Point Heavy Duty, Eye Point Halo. So anyway, uh, before I juice this thing up, it looks like it has some kind of a lock, unlock. So if you go to unlock, then I could take this off. And I imagine, let's see, did that, come, yeah, that just popped straight up. You can't turn it because you can see that you're at an angle here, right? Okay, good. Then you can take a look at their titanium helix here. Okay, there it is. Look inside. Do, 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 do. Hey, Mom. See, can I get my finger in there? Ooh, that's sharp. Ah, I do such stupid things. All right, you just slide that puppy in there like this, and it should snap. Yep, like that. That's nice. Okay. Here's where the power goes. Le power. And then you put that back on like so. And lock. Because you know sometimes you, you grab a sharpener from the top like this and the whole thing falls down and you get stuff all over the place. Which I've done. And so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put the power on. No smoke. It's not smoking. Nope, it's all good. All right, so let's see how this thing sharpens colored pencils. And I imagine that if it can sharpen color pencils, and it probably can sharpen regular pencils, I'll try that too. But... All right, so now these came kind of pre-sharpened. See these these kind here, they're kind of sharpened already. So I'll see what it see what it does here in the sharpener just, okay just gonna slide it in and go for it I guess right oh all right well check that out see that's the pre sharpen and that's the eye point that's a nice point Wow all right that's good that sharpened really nice so, just do another. It does stop by itself. And it does sharpen these color pencils without any problem whatsoever. All right. So now let me try this other brand here. Let me grab some pencils here. Some people always have problems with like pink. There's some pink and here's a purple. They, apparently some colors are a little more flakier than others. I mean, I've been doing a lot of studying on this, this subject here. All right, so this is a different brand. This is a Sargent brand here, Sargent Arts. Yeah, it does it. Here, I'll show you in a second after I get these done. And one more, just for giggles. I actually got 72 of these that I'm going to have to sharpen. Oh, I was about ready to put it back in the box. Take a look at that. Nice. All right. Well, this pencil sharpener obviously does a great job on colored pencils. I just tried two different brands, so I'm pretty sure that uh, they're going to work on all colored pencils. I mean, I don't have all colored pencils, so you know I can't tell you for sure, but here is a regular pencil that I received with the light box, the tracer light box that I just recently released a video on, which was an awesome product and I'm so happy to have it. But I have this pencil that it came with and there's no tip on it, so let's do a regular graphite pencil. There you go guys. Works a very good. So anyway, this color pencil sharpener, because that's what I'm going to use it for, is these color pencils that I'm going to be reviewing here and doing a, uh, I'm going to draw that elephant. If you saw my last video, you know which elephant I'm talking about. The Westcott Eye Point Halo, I definitely give this sharpener a thumbs up. 
And especially if I put it on the shelf and it survives a few months of living with those other guys and it comes back and it's still working, that's the important thing, okay? Uh, then it's definitely a go-go. And I do again want to give a shout out to the folks at Westcott for their customer service. Guys, keep it up. This is what artists and other customers want. They want good customer service because it gives you a good name. You've got a good name in my book. Thank you again. It's been great doing business with you. So anyway, if you like this vid, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'll see you in the next video. I'm going to go drink my coffee now. Bye.